Hip Switch and Huggle Dug's Christmas Heist. Chapter 3. How do you suppose, Huggle Dug was saying to Hip Switch, that a giant moose with a sneeze like a tractor's backfire is going to help us steal Christmas nuts from inside the Blevins' premises? Hip Switch flicked his tail. I've always thought of moose as the sneakiest of woodland creatures. He blinked. The ninjas of the forest, really. I thought squirrels were the ninjas of the forest. We are, said Hipswitch. But to neutralize Randolph, we need to distract him. And you know what distracts a dog better than anything, don't you? Huggle Duck sighed. A squirrel? No, Hipswitch cried. A moose! But Randolph will catch the big sneezing beast. And do what? Lick Micah clean. I'm not sure even Randolph is stunned enough to spit polish an entire moose, said Huggle Dug. Do you really think that he'd chase Micah, though? If Micah shows his face in the Blevins' backyard, they'll sick Randolph on him, sure. And then they'll chase Randolph, who? They'll be chasing Micah, who, said Hipswitch, will lead them into the woods, through the creek bed, and lose them in the grove. Do you think Micah will be able to lose them? He is a gigantic moose. Hipswitch shrugged. We should at least tell him the plan. But do you think he'll remember it? I'll draw it for him in the snow. And they'll be carrots? Micah the Moose stared at the carrot-shaped diagram. Hipswitch had just traced in the snow with his forefinger. Only if you manage to lure the humans away, said Huggle Dug. The twick said Micah, will be to one slow enough that they think they are actually twacking me. Are you really that fleet of hoof? said Huggle Dug. I'm basically invisible, said Micah. Huggle Dug looked at the giant moose. Invisible? Yes, said Micah, when I am moving in the tweez. I see, said the chipmunk. Only because I am standing still, said Micah. And so they set about their plan. Micah sauntered up past the barn by the manure heap where they heard rat-a-tat-tat chitter that it best stay away from the old building if you don't want to be shot and mounted. The blouses boy will make a roast out of you, shrilled rat-a-tat-tat. Micah sneezed on the rat. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, he'll need more than an air rifle. You dumb brute, said rat-a-tat-tat. The boy's father got him a hunting rifle Christmas, and ammo, boxes of ammunition. Like a barked and hip switch, perched between the moose's ears, not to search the cherries of a rat whose house was a manure heap. Beware! cried the rat. They're sending you to your doom. Tally ho, squeaked the switch. Poor Mike had slumped on when the moose approaching the hunt began to talk. No good could come of this, he thought. I should have gone north with Molly. Come on, giddy up, Hipswitch flicked Micah's ears a last time before abandoning the moose and burying into a snowdrift. He came up next to Huggle Dug, who was about to say something, when an owl's sudden screech shrewed them stock still, eyes wide. They both remembered with horror how Fabio Fieldmouse had been scooped up off the crusted snow by Liam Malachi Tailfeather, the local great horned owl. Liam had said he was only saving Fabio from Greta Grey Fox, but can a rodent really trust an owl? The shriek died away, as did the beating of wings, and the squirrel and chipmunk broke from their shroven states and scampered down one of Huggle Dug's tunnels into the Subnivian Zone, an under-the-snow labyrinth of crossing and crisscrossing critter tunnels. But Huggle Dug knew the Subnivian Zone like Bobby Blevins as knew his way to the fridge at night. And Huggle Dug led Hip Switch, who barely fit through the tunnels, on and on and on in the direction of the Blevins' premises. They ran as if chased by Greta Grey Fox, racing at last through the hole, into the tunnel, up the pipe, and into the Blevins' house. Shouldn't we be hearing something? hissed Huggle Dug. Like what? Like Bobby yelling, Moose! And Randolph yapping to get out the door! I don't know! Wait for it, said the squirrel. How? Just then, Mrs. Blevins has sent up a siren screen. Moose! 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 She screeched, and up went Randolph, barking like... 
scratching across the floor to the door. Harold! Mrs. Blevins had screamed, there's a moose in the air. Harold, it's a rifle! Oh, whack! I'll freeze her before it gets. Anyone get through and spread the shot? Harold! She screeched, get your gun! Woof, woof, woof! Bark Randolph. Don't let that dog out! cried Mrs. Blevins' Harold! Shoot the thing from the bathroom window! Switch paled and Huggle Dog shook. No one but Mike in their freezer, hissed Huggle Dog. They'll string him up in their shed. Shh! snapped Hip Switch. He's dead because of you! Hip Switch's eyes widened. Not if we let Randolph loose. How? But Hip Switch was off! He bounded across the floor, right up Randolph's rump, and bristled spine and onto the dog's flat head, right between Randolph's crossed eyes, then up leapt Hip Switch, Randolph nipping at his heels but missing the squirrel's curled tail as Hip Switch sailed through the air. Hip Switch caught hold of the door handle mid-flight, kicked down, backflipped into Randolph's snout where he snapped the dog's eyelid shut and sprang out the opening door to race over the snow toward Micah Simons, Otto the Third, yelling, Gallop, you big moose! Gallop! They've got a gun! Micah froze, mouthful of cedar, and looked beyond the hip switch to the dog barking toward him. The barrel of a gun slid out the bathroom window. Harold Blevins has yelled, Duck, you dumb dog! And boom! Went the gun, and up reared the moose, and high let the squirrel on Micah's antlered head. Hip switch flicked Micah's ears and hissed, Fly, you fool! Fly! And Micah the moose ran like only a moose can run, each stride longer than the last, faster than the fastest horse. Nor so it felt to hip switch. Bang! Went the gun again, and the snow exploded near Micah's hoof, and Micah veered past the barn as another bang rang out, and a barn board splintered. The woods yelled Mrs. Blevins as, Harold, get off the can! We're hunting that moose into the woods! To the grove, said Hip Switch, as Micah wove his way like wind through the woods. Huggle Duck, we'll have to get the Christmas nuts himself. Am I cowards? Micah panted, yes, of course, you're carrots. And they galloped on deep into the woods, Randolph barking, woof, 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 in confusion far behind them, and the woods silent now, save for their heavy breathing and the distant screeching of Liam Malachi Tailfeather overhead.